Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Trinity and I'm going to tell you guys the first time I ever got drunk. The first time I ever tasted alcohol, I actually just like, just kind of sipped it a little bit, didn't really taste it, and immediately I hated it, and I was just like, ugh, this is what people ruin their lives for. So immediately I hated it, I didn't really like it, I wasn't feeling it. And I think it was Everclear, when I tasted it, I think it was Everclear. So getting on to the story of the first time I actually got drunk, like, drunk, not tipsy, drunk. Of course I was in college because, I mean, middle school, high school, I wasn't even about that life. My parents were strict and I was in the house. There wasn't any type of partying and going out type of, that wasn't my life. But of course when I got to college, that's when I started to experience these things. So I was hanging with a bunch of upperclassmen and me and my friends were invited and we just decided to go out while we were pre-gaming. So that's what we were doing. We were pre-gaming at I think somebody's apartment. I mean, come on, I was drunk. So y'all can't expect me to know every little detail in this story. When we got there, everybody was yelling out shot. Like shot, shot, shot. shot, shot. shot. Everybody, was, everybody was screaming out shot. And I'm looking around like, I guess this is the call for everyone to come into the kitchen and take a shot because that's where everyone went so i'm just like okay well shoot let's turn up no big deal now my other two friends they were 100 percent familiar with alcohol and they already knew that i haven't had alcohol before so they already knew to keep an eye on on me i went to the kitchen and all these shots are laid out and we're about to just you know we grabbing a shot about to about to throw it back I didn't know what I was taking a shot of. I don't know what it was. I was just like, well, you know what? It's alcohol that must be. Then it gotta be clean. After I took this shot, my face was, oh, my face was broken. You know how I know my face was broken, you guys, because my face started to actually feel sore from the type of face expression that I gave after I took this shot. Yes, yes, that was dramatic, but this was a serious moment for me. My chest was burning so, so much. Like, my chest was burning. I thought, for a second, I thought that I was having some type of heartburn, like, cause I, that's all I felt was like a burning sensation. And a couple of seconds later, it was good. You know, it was just like, okay, well it's over now. So once I figured out that it was just a moment of that burning, I was just like, okay, well I guess this is just how it works. I shake it off and we just go back into the dance floor. What were we doing? I don't know, standing around or dancing. I don't know what we were doing. I do know that a couple minutes later, somebody again yelled out, shot. Everyone around me was yelling out shot and then everyone moved, like a crowd, moved over to the kitchen to take another shot. Now me, I'm just like, okay, you know, turn up. I'm just like, all right, you know, here again, here again, and let's go ahead and toast up. So I went ahead and threw back, you know, second shot, and once again, the burning sensation. We already know this here. And by that time, I think I was, you know, seeing things. You know, I think I was seeing some things. I was just like, you know what, something's happening something's happening you're gonna know those of you that haven't been drunk or tipsy you're gonna know the first time that something's happening it's something that you can't avoid now after the second shot at that moment um i was still trying to figure out if we were going to be leaving or not because i was just like you know if we get too turnt then we're not gonna you know have any more energy to go to our next location everybody's getting their stuff getting ready to leave for the house party and and somebody yells out shot and of course you already know we we go to the kitchen and take this third shot and you already know at this point i pretty much have it down pat but after i took that third shot i knew i knew that this was the moment that I was drunk. Luckily, I had on some flats that night. Oh my goodness, whoo. I, I have almost fallen plenty of times while being intoxicated and 
it will hurt your ankle. So we take the third shot and now we're out the door walking to this next location. Walking and we're walking and then all of a sudden one of the people, one of the people in the group with us, he is in the back throwing up. Like walking and throwing up. And everybody had to stop because you know we were traveling as a group and they had to be like okay are you all right are you good he, apparently he did not eat before drinking which is the number one rule you guys the number one rule is always to eat before you drink okay i learned that lesson the hard way i learned that lesson myself the hard way so i'm just letting you know i'm looking out for you guys after he finishes throwing up we were just like are you good are you okay can you go on and he's like oh no big deal i'm good so we're like okay let's keep on walking we finally get to the house party we're going in and it's a pretty crowded party this this house party was really dark like if you go if you're gonna throw a house party then let some light be somewhere you know like set up some lights like it don't have to be like light but goodness like it was just really dark we did see some alcohol so we did of course go over there to the alcohol <laughs> this is so funny to me because like for real like we were going to the alcohol like our intentions were definitely to get drunk that was definitely the intentions clearly because wherever there was alcohol we went we went wherever the alcohol was. <sighs> but uh, we saw the alcohol and we went ahead and we um, drank some alcohol. Now we didn't take any shots, but they had like this mixed drink. And you know, it's very iffy because some parties be having some of that special juice. Let's say it was really good. I drank about two cups of that punch because it was so good. I don't know what they put in it. I don't know what they did. But it was really good and I was drinking it. While I was drinking this fruit punch, drinking it like Kool-Aid, um, yeah, it was creeping up on me. So while we're on the dance floor, dancing, hanging, chilling, whatever we were doing, um, now it was crowded, like I said before, which can cause an issue when, you know, bumping into people. It can cause a little bit of a problem and this night it caused the problem i know that we were just having a good time i was in my zone everybody else was in a zone and all i know is my friend turns to me and she's just like upset my friend is going off like just going off and i'm trying to figure out what's wrong with her along with the other the group that we were with she was talking about how some girl hit her or something and me of course I go to bat for my friends and this night I was really going to bat because I pushed the girl <laughs> yes I pushed her because clearly she hit my friend and I was upset about it after I pushed the girl she is upset but like I said before it was dark this house party was really dark so it's not like you really could see who it was but since my friend was beside her and she could point her out in plain sight that's how i knew who to push but of course she didn't know who pushed her now that one push alone caused a lot okay because like i said it's so crowded so that one push was enough to get everybody hyped up me and my friends bounced <laughs> yep we did we bounced because after i pushed it i was just like oh well time to go because it was a whole lot of movement like guys were getting upset like i'm sure y'all already know i'm short i'm not about to get pushed around in this house party i'm not about to get ran over i'm not about to get smushed and i'm not about to get hit i really do feel bad somewhere somewhere i feel really bad about even doing that push because it seemed like it got really really riled up i feel i feel bad just because i knew that somebody probably got hit for me you know what i'm saying like you probably took that hit for me whoever she hit back 
But hey, nothing I can do about it. Happened a long time ago. We went to another party and this was a walk and it was about, man, it was a long walk. I wanna say about seven minutes, about a seven minute walk to this other party. So while we're walking this seven minutes to this other house party, some somebody in the group, man, I swear, if I were you, I wouldn't go out with so many people in a group. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there. But this guy in our group, he had to use the bathroom. And of course we're walking, so there wasn't any way for us to go to the bathroom. So he went ahead and took a squat in the bush. You know, Bruh. I'm just like, okay, he's taking a squat. So Bruh. you out here, you out here about to do number two. Like you out here about to do number two though. Number two. Why? Why why? Bruh. Bruh. Ruin it for everybody. Like ruining it for everybody. <laughs> smelled so bad it smelled so bad and I was just like why you do this why you do this I don't know what he ate by the way don't expect it to smell good at all if you're drinking alcohol just saying so we went ahead and we did get to the house party you guys this was such a long night like this story time about to be so long to the house party and apparently this house party was Greek it was a Greek party I do know the fraternity but I don't think it mm, I don't think it's relevant in this story so I won't say it but um, we were in the Greek party and it was really hot it was really really hot this party was very hot but it didn't seem really crowded but we in there chilling, having a good time. I actually knew a couple, a lot of faces actually. I Like when I walked up in there, I was seeing everybody I knew. So immediately I was actually really digging the party, having fun, you know, familiar faces, makes everything easier. Of course, we see alcohol and we are, you know, we drink a, drink a little bit. I mean, it's no surprise that, I mean, first time ever being drunk, I mean, it was, gonna be a drunk night and then we're having a good time and all of that everything's good and I go to the kitchen area and they have like these little like a it was like a high bar chair and I wanted to sit down I was already who I was gone so I was like let me just sit down I'm sitting in the kitchen and I'm just chilling a whole lot of people are kind of in the kitchen uh, mostly the Greeks were in the kitchen and I was just chilling talking everything was good and all of that but out of nowhere this guy takes takes off his shirt and out of nowhere this guy comes into the kitchen with this what do they call it branding tool that's what it was it was like a branding tool with the symbol with their Greek letter and um, uh, right in front of me they are about to brand this guy's arm and I'm just like sitting there and I'm like what is going on why is this happening because I'm a freshman I'm drunk and this is my first Greek party and I don't like I don't I don't like blood and all of that going on i ain't trying to see all that you know i didn't i wasn't prepared for it that's what this is about i didn't sign i didn't sign up for this i did not sign up for this i didn't mean to sit here i didn't mean to see this so all of them are just yelling and they haven't branded the guy's arm yet but they're you know just yelling and i see my friend who is part of the organization and you know he was all happy i'm just like okay well you know i'll just ask him about this later you know I guess it's I guess it's good. Yes, everything is all right here. I guess this is okay. Shoot, I couldn't imagine doing anything like that. Like, hey, power to you, brother. Power to you. Cause not me. Not on this. Not, not on this beautiful skin, please. But hey, it ain't my body. It ain't my business. So they go in for the brand on the guy's arm, and you know he's taking it. He's dancing up. Now I did see what it looked like after and ugh, ugh, mm. After that I left from, I got up out that chair and I went to go find my friend. From that point, my friend wanted to leave everybody else. Well, a couple of people from the group stayed, but my main friends, we left. We went back to campus to get our lives back together because 
our lives were not together that night. Oh, and by the way, we did not walk all the way back to campus. We did get a ride. This nice guy gave us a ride and I was, I was really grateful for him. And I'm happy that we didn't leave with the rest of the group because I know they wouldn't have been able to fit into the car. So it was perfect that this gentleman well, I don't know if he was a gentleman, but hey, he was one for that night. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye! We came to party rock. Everybody is on. Shot, 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 shot.